Hello and welcome to another edition of Father Dave's Parish Update for Friday, June 9th, 2023. I uh, ask your special prayers for those who have died over this last week or whom we have funeral services. Uh, Mary Weeman, a longtime parishioner, and uh, Dwayne Smith. So please keep them in your prayers as uh, we hold them close to our hearts these days. This upcoming weekend, we celebrate the Feast of Corpus Christi. And you know, over the last year, since uh, the last Feast of Corpus Christi, we began praying the uh, St. Pius X Eucharistic Renewal Prayer at all of our Masses. Uh, we're going to be wrapping that up at this Sunday um, uh, with the Corpus Christi celebration. A little bit more about that later. But I'd like to pray that prayer that we've been praying all year long. Uh, as uh, St. Pope Pius X had a, had a special love and devotion of the Eucharist, especially for young people, uh, that they can receive the Lord and receive his real presence and be given that special sanctifying grace. So uh, we pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father, inspired by St. Pius X and his love of the Eucharist, renew our belief in the real presence. Help us profess that the bread and wine we place upon the altar are substantially changed into the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through this holy sacrifice, grant us forgiveness of sins and healing of mind, body, and soul. And fed by the sacred meal in communion with all your heavenly saints, may we become servants and heralds of your good news to the ends of the year. Amen. St. Pius X, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, this last week, uh, of course, uh, we mentioned we had a funeral. Uh, Mary Weeman's funeral was on Monday. The, um, also, all the priests of the diocese, uh, or I should say the, the diocese sponsored the annual priest retreat for those priests who were able to attend the priest retreat. It was held at Conception Monastery in Conception, Missouri. Father Brad was able to go. I was busy here uh, moving. That was my <laughs> part of my job this whole week, and it's still on ongoing, is um, uh, kind of clearing myself out of my current rectory house, uh, moving into the house I'll be in, staying in during sabbatical and beyond probably. Um, it's a house over by near Dowling, the Dowling owns actually, and the diocese rents. So I need to kind of get myself out of the rectory so we can get in and get it painted, cleaned, and, and ready to go for Father Matthew. Uh, he'll be arriving at the end of the month, so uh, we have a little window that we're trying to get a lot of work done there. So. Uh, I've got to get my stuff out of there, and um, you know it's amazing. Uh, as, you, as at least for myself, you know, I think I live fairly simply, but uh, over the course of 10, 11 years, you do acquire a lot of stuff. Some things I've been taking uh, have taken with me from place to place. Over the last couple of years, I've tried to purge myself of a number of those items. Uh, more purging to come, uh, leading up to uh, this weekend. I'll be having another bit of a moving sale um, in the Martha Mary Fellowship Hall. Odds and ends and bits and pieces of things, um, just trying to clear house. And whatever I don't, uh, uh, whatever doesn't go out the door, will probably take to um, uh, one of the uh, charity stores in town. So uh, that will be available for anyone who wants to browse those items this week. Um, so just a reminder for this weekend, uh, or excuse me, the other, thing, the other thing from last week uh, before I move on to this week, uh, we did have our mission appeal. Uh, we had uh, Father Sons who came up from Jacksonville, Mississippi and preached at all the masses. We thank him for his presence. Uh, I haven't gotten the tally yet as to how much we raised. Our business manager, Dean, uh, has been uh, uh, taking a little well-deserved vacation this week. So uh, we don't have all the numbers put together, but uh, I thank everyone for the generosity and support for um, the mission uh, in Jacksonville, uh, the Diocese of Jackson. You know, it's, uh, uh, as, as he indicated, we often don't think about areas of, of missionary need in our own country. Oftentimes we think of foreign missions, which are in equal need. Um, but yet, even in our own country, many, especially rural and, and poor areas of our nation that, that uh, require a real exceptional ministry and, and our ongoing support. So. Again, our parish is overall always very supportive, so I thank you for all your efforts for that. So this weekend, as I mentioned, is Corpus Christi uh, weekend. We'll be celebrating that, um, especially after at the end of the 11 o'clock Mass on Sunday, we'll have a Corpus Christi procession, where we've done that for the last number of years. Uh, this year, we're going to kind of process around the perimeter of the church. We have several different stations. We'll be stopping and doing some prayers and adoration. 
uh, kind of going around to the front of the church on the Douglas side and kind of back around. Um, uh, several stations will be stopping and doing prayers. So I invite you if you'd like to either uh, come to the 11 o'clock Mass and again we're going to conclude Mass with the procession out of the church. Or if you want to just come for the procession, you can stand at the entrance of the church outside and uh, uh, pick it up from there. Um, just a little reminder, if you're attending Mass at 11 a.m. and you're not going to stay for the procession, just need to be mindful of people coming and going and, uh, and watching uh, traffic so we don't uh, have any mishaps uh, or accidents along the way. So please be extra cautious and careful about that. So it'll be a wonderful way to kind of wrap up our this last year of Eucharistic renewal. Uh, in particular, that, in terms of how we've been uh, celebrating that and working with that, uh, I know there'll be more things uh, in the year, uh, year or two ahead that the uh, U.S. bishops are promoting and that uh, our, our diocese will be doing as well. So it's a good way to keep mindful of the, the joy and the love of the Eucharist that St. Pius X, uh, Pope St. Pius X had, uh, as I mentioned previously, and that were embodied here at St. Pius. Also this weekend on Saturday is the Holy Name uh, Golf Outing. So um, I think uh, pretty much by this time everyone signed up who's going to sign up for that, but we wish them well and invite your ongoing support and encouragement for the Men of Holy Name, they do so much for help us in our parish community to fund projects and uh, help keep things moving forward. So we thank them for all their hard work that they do each and every day. They just kind of had their annual little cookout this last weekend, or this last week. Um, so the, I'm grateful for all their good ministry and effort over the many, many years. They've been a real uh, bulwark of support for our parish community. So uh, I hope they have a good time. I, I think the weather's supposed to be pretty good this weekend, so that'll be good. Also mentioned uh, this weekend, after all the masses, I'll have a little uh, some tables set up in the Martha Mary Fellowship Hall with some of my my moving cell items. Uh, some of them will be maybe a little bit bigger items, uh, some small appliances, some different things, odds and ends. Uh, those who can, I'll set up a little free will offering uh, if you'd like to make a contribution toward that. Um, uh, all all is uh, all will be accepted in the charity that it's offered. Uh, but again, I'm just trying to uh, do a little purging and cleaning of house, so to speak, uh, as I uh, continue to move, uh, be in my process of moving. As I mentioned before, of course, the new priests uh, officially take reign on uh, uh, take the reins of the parish. Father Matthew Lockdar will be the new pastor. He'll be officially starting his first full day. Will be July 13th, uh, coming up in a, uh, just a little, little over a month now. Father Daniel DJ as well will be a full-time pastoral associate or parochial vicar uh, as a priest here in the parish. So I know they're um, looking forward to coming. Father Matthew, of course, is going through a lot of change and transition himself, coming from out of the uh, out of the monastery and out of St. Cloud, Minnesota area, uh, where he's been a pastor. And uh, he'll be coming down to join us. And uh, so keep him in your prayers, and uh, both he and Father Daniel um, I know they're finally uh, connecting and doing a little uh, talking with one another as well as uh, preparing to come here to St. Pius. So we're very excited to have them come. I'm excited to have them come. They'll bring a wonderful new energy and, and pastoral vitality, I think, uh, and parish leadership uh, to our parish community. So I'm so happy to have them on board. Looking forward to their presence. So please keep them in their prayers, uh, in your prayers, as uh, we move forward. Uh, Prayer stewardship, I have nothing extra to report today in terms of new numbers. Uh, I haven't gotten the numbers yet from the diocese. They try to send out weekly updates for all the different uh, annual appeal, uh, Ignite, and those types of efforts. Um, I believe our last numbers, um, I think we're up to about 450 or 60 households that have made contributions. And uh, so we appreciate everyone's support for that. Um, I, I, Please continue to, uh, if you have not yet made your annual diocesan uh, payment or pledge, uh, we invite you to please do that. Uh, we were getting pretty close to um, uh, getting uh, all the numbers put together, meeting our goal. Our goal or assessment this year, actually it's an assessment, it's not a goal, because we have to pay it either way. <laughs> our assessment this year is $216,000. Uh, so we appreciate your ongoing support for that initiative. Again, if um, you know, if, if you have not uh, thought about making a pledge, if you could do $150, uh, you can spread that out over three months, $50 a month. Uh, and that comes down to a little more than a dollar a day. It's probably, um, uh, probably spend a lot more than that on our daily coffee or soda or whatever. 
Uh, so maybe just to think about it in those kind of terms, of course, it helps to maybe look at it in that perspective. So uh, if we could get uh, a couple hundred more households, that would be a wonderful thing. Um, you know, and as we move forward into the late summer, we'll be sending out a follow-up letter and, and, and reminding people if they have not yet made their pledge to do so. Uh, and uh, so we can, we can hit that goal, uh, hit that assessment goal. Uh, again, all the other efforts can continue to move forward. Um, you know, I mentioned last time we were so very close uh, in terms of our Ignite campaign, the Dasasing campaign. Um, if, we, if we're able to get the 75% mark, uh, which is about $1,312,000, something like that, um, uh, uh, we would be able to receive 15% of whatever we uh, actually comes in over the course of time. Uh, which could end up being almost a quarter of a million dollars or more. So, uh, but we only need to raise uh, about another fifty thousand. So, one of those things, if we can get people to contribute that extra money, uh, maybe uh, do a little bit more on their on their pledge or a little additional pledge uh, to the Ignite campaign, uh, we have quite a payoff <laughs> from our percentage back. Um, uh, that's not why we do it, of course. We're here to support the bigger church. But uh, it could be a great benefit to our local community if we could if we could just get that few extra thousand dollars, um, uh, we can uh, really uh, get the the uh, parish goal uh, assessment back to us. But of course, in all these things, we thank you as always for, for all your ongoing support uh, and assistance. Again, as uh, people have been asking, uh, reminder, and I'll be uh, here. And again, my last official day is July twelfth. Uh, they, they line it up, so I'm here one day, and Father Matthew takes hold of the pastorship on the following day. I, I don't know if it happens like at midnight or something that night. I don't know how that works exactly. <laughs> we'll have a passing of the keys. I'll give them, um, I've, I realized I, I had a little scale at home I was messing around with, and I realized I have uh, just my physical keys. If I put them all on the scale, it's over a pound of keys. <laughs> so I'll be happy to turn those over as I head into my sabbatical time six months of some um, uh, renewal, some uh, ongoing learning, and, and getting myself a little healthier, all those good things, uh, doing a month-long retreat, a silent retreat as well. So all kinds of things I'll be doing uh, as a to kind of uh, work on my own self, my own good self, and to uh, come back into active ministry after the first of the year. Uh, again, the official announcement of that will be uh, happening later on. But again, I appreciate your prayer and support. So let's pray for one another as uh, we come to this wonderful feast day this weekend of Corpus Christi, that we can really uh, uh, recognize and embrace the presence of Christ in the Eucharist, um, and uh, not just in the species of bread and wine, uh, the former bread and wine, uh, of course, which is the uh, divine presence, body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus, which we take into ourselves, but then we become Christ in a certain way, we take on Christ in a certain way to carry Christ you know, uh, with us, if we're in a state of grace, to carry Christ with us into the world to really sanctify and build up uh, the world. All that, again, it's kind of uh, what empowers us and, and nurtures us to live out our mission, to love God, to love others, to make disciples and restore all things in Christ. May God bless you and have a wonderful week.